Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray, and thanks for tuning in. Uh, first and foremost, please subscribe to my channel. Feel free to leave a like on this video, and feel free to comment down below what you would like me to do in future videos. Also, don't feel free to turn on that little notification bell, uh, so that way you know when I am making future content. So, let's get right into this Dragon Ball Z Super Broly movie. That's what we're going to be talking about today. That's what I'm going to be reviewing. So, uh, first and foremost, let's just talk about the backstory. Uh, the backstory changed a little bit. Um, I personally think it gives Broly a little bit more character development throughout the movie instead of him just screaming Kakarot and hating Goku because he was crying like, and was sad that he was crying, which was kind of the dynamic behind the entire first movie, which, I mean, Broly already is an OP character, but... Um, that reason behind it, I, I never really cared for, uh, which I'm definitely thankful they changed because now it is technically canon. Um, so his father's still in it. Uh, Vegeta obviously is in it. Uh, we get to see Bardock and uh, Planet Vegeta, which is kind of cool, and Goku's mom, whose name I do not remember. Um, won't completely spoil all of it for you, but just keep in mind the first half of the movie is kind of uh, backstory. It, it is backstory. Uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe even 45 minutes into it, is a uh, backstory of what led Broly to the point of getting to where he is fighting uh, Vegeta and Goku. Um, we also get to see Vegeta in uh, red god hair mode, which is kind of cool. Um, also, something that's not really a spoiler, uh, but you may want to skip the next like 5 to 10 seconds, uh, Gogeta is in the movie. Um, we already saw him in the trailer, so we kind of knew he was going to be in the movie. Some people were really pissed off about that, um, others not so much. Um, depended on where you were and how you feel about spoilers, because it was kind of a big spoiler. It could have been a cool surprise if uh, no one told us about that. Uh, so going into my personal problems, or my, I guess, negatives uh, with the movie... Um, there is like a weird 3D animation part in it. Um, there's a part where they're fighting... And it's like some sort of dimensional break or something crazy. And um, it almost looks like they're in like a Dragon Ball Z video game like you'd play for the PS4 or Xbox One. It kind of has that 3D-ish animation as opposed to 2D, which I have no idea why they did it. Or it could just be for the camera angles, not really sure. I mean, regardless, it looks amazing, but um, it kind of throws you out of it for a second. You're like, wait a minute, that kind of looks off a little bit. Um, but other than that, I don't really have a problem with the animation. Uh, second, obviously, it is the same Dragon Ball Z dynamic that has been played out again and again and again. Oh, and again. Oh, oh, oh and yeah, again. Again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, again. Um, so if you're expecting something different, don't. Um, it is the same kind of formula that uh, Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Super GT, has been using forever. <laughs> Goku gets powered up. He overcomes the villain, and he defeats the villain, inevitably, in the end. Um, as with every single thing, obviously there are different things in the middle. Um, there is a little bit of a change-up at the end, which I think you will enjoy. I'm not going to spoil that for you, so you're going to have to watch the full movie for that to find out. Um, but maybe I will talk about that later in the video. But I will give you, yet again, I will give you a warning before I do that. Uh, so, going into it... Um, Broly doesn't have like a base Super Saiyan form, which I thought was kind of stupid because he does have that in the original two movies. Um, he's got like his obviously regular form, then he's got like Super Saiyan somewhat, kind of weird hair colored, and then he's got Legendary Super Saiyan. In this movie, he has his base form. There's kind of like a greenish, greenish um, energy form. Then he has a form which they're calling him having the power of a uh, great ape except he doesn't turn into a great ape because he doesn't have a tail obviously but i think that was a little pointless to mention that in the movie because at this point in time uh vegeta and goku even in their base form i think would have no problem beating the crap out of a uh say an ape or if somebody in a a great ape form um even if they were had all that power in their base form that should be super easy for them to defeat at this point in time because we're way way past that in the series at this point then obviously after that he has his crazy legendary or berserker saiyan form whatever you want to call it um his hair isn't really greenish too much his energy is super green but his hair is definitely more yellow in this uh, he doesn't kind of have that uh, weirdish uh, green hair. I think they purposely want to do that to show that he was an, like a Saiyan, still a regular Saiyan, and not something kind of slightly different and weird. 
Um, even though he is kind of an oddity in the Saiyan world because he's so super powerful and this is just like a Saiyan form. So if he powers up, I wonder if he will power up higher than that, but who knows? Um, they'll probably make a second Broly movie or something, most likely. I would assume they would anyway. Um, they're going to milk that cow for all it's worth, as Dragon Ball Z has been doing since 89. <laughs> Uh, so now I'm going to kind of get into the spoiler section of the movie. But before I do, um, just keep in mind, it is a great movie. Um, it got a decent rating. Usually you see a 6 or 7 out of 10, typically. Um, I think it was in the 70-ish score on Rotten Tomatoes, if I remember correctly, when I was just looking up all the reviews for it. Uh, regardless, I was like, you know what, Dragon Ball Z fan, I've been watching the show for years. I'm going to go see the movie, of course. Um, so I didn't really care what the rating was. But uh, it is tip the best rated uh, Dragon Ball Z movie, I believe, so far. Uh, all right, so let's get into the spoiler section. So no Ultra Instinct. Everybody was kind of pissed about that. There is one instance where Goku kind of flashes his hair white like he's attempting to it and then ends up just going Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. Um, but um, he didn't. I guess he didn't want to put his form in this because maybe it's too powerful for Broly at this point in time. I'm not really sure, but I'm assuming that is the reasoning behind it. Um, there's also um, Jiren. Somebody asked why Jiren wasn't in it. I saw something like that. Um, and the reason he said, um, the creator said, was because he didn't want Broly to die in the movie. Um, but why would he even be in it in the first place when he's from a different dimension? I, I don't understand the, th the thought process behind that. But whatever, maybe Jiren's like a super popular character at the moment. As I said, not, not worried about that. Um, so going on to the ending, uh, so the two kind of brand new characters um, that were part of the Frieza's Force, but now I guess ex Frieza Force, wished for Broly to go back to the place he grew up on and ended up going with him and now are exiles. Uh, Frieza thinks that uh, they will be able to train Broly um, and get him stronger so that way he can finally kill Goku and, and Vegeta possibly. More Goku than Vegeta. Um, but Goku actually ends up going to the planet and, uh, basically saying he wants to train Broly, teach him a few things, gives him a bunch of stuff from, uh, Capsule Corp, from Bulma, and I'm sure he will make fre frequent, uh, visits to make sure that they are as comfortable as they possibly can be on the desolate wasteland planet that Broly grew up on, eating disgusting bug legs, which is really gross. Um, you do kind of see that Broly has the, a very kid-like dynamic, um, which was based from the original movies as well. Um, I am kind of thankful that he is canon. He's definitely going to be back either in the show or possibly in another movie. So we'll definitely see Broly again. Maybe there'll be another tournament of power training episodes or something or who, who knows what. But yeah, as I said, um, it does have its issues, but um, pretty much same Dragon Ball Z formula you've been seeing for years. So if you like Dragon Ball Z, you like watching it, you've been watching the show for years, you are definitely going to enjoy this movie, and I definitely recommend seeing it. My name is Steve Gray. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.